How's it going guys? So I put my email and my phone number uh, as a friend asked me anything um, about entrepreneurship. So I think we have a call our day. So this is the first one, so we'll see how it goes. And they give us a call and we'll talk about really what they what they want to talk about. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Hey, how's it going? You're on uh Ty Blunt, um, ask me anything. Hi Ty, this is Paul. How's it going, Paul? Uh, I just wanted to Hi, I just wanted to call up and uh, ask you for some advice uh, about some things that I've been doing lately. I uh, am just turned 40 years old, and I'm really wondering um, what kind of a career change can I make right now? So I've tried a number of things on the side of my regular job. Like I tried stock market trading, and I tried making a YouTube channel, but each of those things I quit doing after three months and and I'm just really wondering if working for myself is cut out for me. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, no, good question, right? So um like forty you have you have so much life to live in a sense, um, that you should be going after whatever you want. First off, um, if you want a side job, a side hustle, that's not a big deal. Um, you said you traded and uh, you did YouTube content. Above 40, I think, is the next big push um, for Facebook and YouTube content because um, the art, like my age, is taking has already it's already on YouTube and there's already a lot of consumer base there. But the older version, 40s, 50s, 60s, I think there'd be a huge like paradigm shift of when my parents and a bit older than you and your age get into uh, YouTube and Facebook because I know my parents love Facebook now but yeah that's probably I'd probably keep on going at it. do you know why you kind of quit um, is there is there anything that like happened or is there just like just give me some reasons yeah so when I first started I had all of this enthusiasm towards it and all this energy that I really put into the channel. And after a while, it just kind of, the excitement wore off and it wasn't as, uh, I wasn't quite as excited to do it anymore. And so I just thought, oh, well, I guess I don't really like doing this that much, so I might as well quit. Yeah, no, definitely. It, it, that happens to a lot of people. Um, everybody says, oh, find your passion, find this, blah, 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 blah. No, I think you just have to mark your goals, and because even if you even if you put out content daily, that's still a great goal to have, right? Even if you not try not try to think of the process, not the end goal, right? We all want to get rich, we all want to have millions of dollars, but the process is really what takes you there. If you plant seeds, we had a, we had a guy we interviewed. He said if you plant seeds every day, those seeds will then flourish to grow to crops, right? So that's what you should do. Keep on going. Keep pushing yourself. Uh, make daily goals and weekly goals um, that you can actually uh, mark down on a counter or a whiteboard or whatever you have. Um, so you do those things. Still work your nine to five job if you have that, or if you're an entrepreneur on the side, awesome. That's cool. Um, still work and go to, go to, just do whatever you can. You can even vlog at work as much as you can, depending on what your employer does. Um, just try, keep trying to build as much content as possible. Oh, okay. That wow. That sounds like a great idea. No problem. Now, do you do that yourself? Do you create weekly goals? Yeah, no, I, I do definitely. Um, and we have uh, one of our guys, Henry. He's he's really good at um, creating daily goals and hitting those as well. Um, and yeah, so we like, we try to make that a staple in the company that we need to have daily goals and weekly goals. I just have uh, ten things on my daily to do list, right? Um, I crushed out um, five of them already, and I have four more hours to crush out the rest. Um, but yeah, it just keeps you on track and dedicated, and then you'll start seeing the results once you go down. But don't quit. It's like it's it's gonna get hard. If it was so easy, anybody can do it, right? Yeah. Wow. Wow, that is really amazing. That's a great idea. Create daily goals that I can act on, and then I guess that would probably build my self confidence if I'm meeting my goals all the time too, right? Exactly, right? It's just progress because it's going zero to one is the hardest part. Getting that first big pop um, where you're either making money or you have, let's say, 10,000 um, viewers or if not viewers, uh, subscribers. It's all about that big pop and you'd be like, wow, all this work months down the line was well worth it. Wow. That's, that's awesome. I wish I would have talked to you earlier. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm glad you called in. Yeah, thank you very much, Ty.
and I hope you have a great day. And is there anything that we can do, that I can do to get in contact with you more? Yeah, definitely. First, uh, like and subscribe our channel on YouTube. Oh, I'll send you a link to that. Um, send me an email at ty at with ease now. If you have any questions or concerns, we'll, we always will help you. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Ty. No problem, Paul. Catch you later, man. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, that was the first one. Hope you guys learned something. I think I did, right? Um, we'll try to do this as much as possible. Keep on track. I'll post to Facebook and uh, Reddit, which we had this one. Um, that was an interesting conversation. We'll get there, right? Give us a like, subscribe if you want more content. Um, catch you guys later.